So I've gone ahead and cleaned them, cleaned the latches and the cables using a little um, Comet, some elbow grease, and an old toothbrush uh, to get into the little to the, into that little hole. Uh, you can use a baby bottle brush, just a small little wire, or just take off some of the uh, cotton on a Q-tip and clean it in. Now, as you can tell, I'm wearing gloves now because I'm about to apply the JB weld. Now, this stuff is really nasty. You don't want to get it on your skin. You don't want to get it in your eyes. So wear gloves and wear uh, glasses. So as, as per the instructions, you're going to take equal amounts. I'm just going to mix it right on the back of the JB Weld uh, packaging. And I'm going to use my Q-tip, which I've cut at an angle, to help apply to the cable as well as inside, inside the latch, inside right there. And if all goes well, uh, once it's connected in about 15 hours, it'll be ready to use again. Now, as you can tell, it's a uh, beautiful sunny sky, so I'm actually able to leave my top down for the day. Uh, you may not be able to. Um, if that's the case, what I'll show, actually what I'll do is I'll put it together and I'll reassemble the top because I know this is going to work. So I'll reassemble the top, I'll close it up, and I'll show you how to put everything back together. Okay, one thing I do want to show, I've got the JB Weld material in it. Um, what you want to do to get the cable back inside the connector is that you want to, once your, once your threads are tight, is that you want to rotate this in the direction that the threads are going so that they don't open up, so that they don't open up back here and you have a hard, harder time than you need to putting the cables back in. So, okay. Okay, so I've got it put back in. One thing I noticed is because the JB Welds is still a little bit on the liquid side that it's starting to bunch up. Um, I got a good seal. I got a good contact between the metal, the two pieces, and that's going to hold. But I'm going to give it about an hour just to... Uh, harden up a little bit before I put it back in the truck because the last thing I want to do whoops the last thing I want to do is have some of this JB Weld material uh, drip into the track and then seal with the cable and then I've got bigger problems on my hands so best bet is to give it about an hour or so to uh, bond a little bit better uh, so it's not so liquidy as you put it back in the track. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side, and I'll see you guys back in an hour. Okay, so it's been a couple of hours now, and the JB Weld material has bonded pretty good. I can't tell too too well, but it's really tough, and this isn't going anywhere. So now it's a matter of putting everything back together. Okay, so with everything up, the tricky part is figuring out how the like the latch and the locking mechanism works. Um, easiest thing to do is just have it hanging like this right off the... Uh, right from the, uh, from the cable and just fold up and then fold up again and there you go this would be the proper uh, proper way of inserting it and the thing is this arm here this is when it when the cables pulled releases the locking mechanism right here which allows the some portion to disengage and for everything to be pulled back and forward so you want to make sure that this this is in the forward position as you slide it in. Now, this is a, this is the hardest part of the of the repair, uh, and it's basically because you got to get everything back into the proper location. So um, I'm going to try this with one hand, but it's really difficult. 
So if it's a little jittery, I apologize. But basically what you want to do is just, you want to start by pushing the cable back in. All right, let's see if we can do it like this. Give me a top-down view. Push it in. And you want to push it in until it's... a little bit in, just like that. And now, when you put your locking mechanism in place, it almost, it autom it goes and hooks right to the, to the uh, path. So what we can do now is push down. Here, let me show you again. When, when it's like this, this tab, you want to push it down and then pull, um, I'm sorry, push this down and then push the whole mechanism in because you want to make sure that this lock passes the first stage here and then the second stage in there. Also, you want to make sure that your, uh, your retract, I don't know what this is called, the retracting arm, um, if you pull it forward, see how it slides in place? Well, this needs to be in the forward position in order for the, lo the locking mechanism to slide down the track. So you just want to pull it until it's all the way forward. You can even just move it with your hand. Okay, so. Together. It's in place. Okay, let's try this with one hand, which I don't think it's going to work. All right. Yeah, it's not going to work. All right. Uh, here, let me see if I can get, get an assistant to help me. So we're going to grab our screwdriver, and this tab here, we're going to push in with the screwdriver to try to get the locking mechanism uh, correctly uh, on the track and then uh, sliding back. So we're just going to, again, here's the tab, and this is what was broken originally. Gonna, we're gonna grab onto this back piece for leverage, and we're just gonna push it in. Now watch, I pushed it in a little bit, and if you can tell, the arm came down, which is exactly what we want, because now the lock is going to clear and get into this little chamber here. So it should be good to go at this point. So we're just gonna give it a little bit more of a push to that, push back, okay, and there we go, so that arm has to be down, and then you can push on the metal, there's two pieces, there's two components in there, there's a plastic and a metal, push in, try and push in on the metal, not the plastic, because the plastic's the one that's moving. And we now are aligned with uh, our back track for the locking mechanism onto the track itself. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish that up. And there we go. We're in place. Again, this has to be sl uh, slid forward, pulled forward, so that... The, lock, the locking mechanism can slide back on the rail. And you could probably hear that I'm pushing it. Okay, so that's the left side. We're going to go ahead and tackle the right side now. Okay, so we just finished the left side, as you can see. Now we're going to do the right side. Again, it's let's pull this cable in a little bit. And again, it's flip up, flip up, and that's how it's going to go in. And you want to make sure, I didn't mention that on the other side, but this little spring has to be hitting the bottom of the arm, of the locking arm. Okay? So we're going to slide this piece in. We got the piece in.
probably see that it's right in here. So now we're going to put our locking mechanism in place. I'm going to latch.